So this is a cardboard collagraph, and we're going to be making a collagraph print. Collagraph is, uh, comes from the word collage um, and the drawing, which is the graphic part of it. Um, I've glued some cardboard on top of a flat piece so that it's one layer higher. And I've also put some bubble wrap here. So you glue it down, and then we're using block printing ink and just an old cardboard for my um, inking surface. You take a little bit of ink, spread it at the top, and I've already spread some on here. And it should sound like Velcro when it's ready. So it has that kind of Velcro tearing sound. And I'm going to ink the board. And then I've prepared a um, acrylic painted piece of paper that I'm going to print on. And then I also have a white paper. So we're going to try and see what it looks like on each. So when you're inking, you want to go in one direction and then turn it to make sure you're covering the whole thing. So you want to lift and spread. I'm lifting and going, rolling it on the way down. So I'm not going back and forth like this. I'm rolling it in one direction. You can turn it but make sure that you're lifting it each time. And I'm trying to get these corrugated parts covered and the bubble wrap covered with ink. You have to work kind of fast because the ink does dry quickly. I'm trying to get that in there. Okay, so once you have covered the plate, put your brayer down upside down so it doesn't stick and decide which way you want your paper to, to be. I like the sky to be at the top. So I'm going to go this way and I put some tape down to line it up. Make sure my board is straight in there. Paper is a little smaller than the board. Once I have placed it, don't move it. You can take another brayer and roll over it. Or you can use a Baron, which is almost like a spoon to get some pressure on the plate to get the ink to transfer to your paper. So I think once you are pretty sure you've got it, you're going to very gently pull the print. That means just pulling the paper up. Let's see what we got. So it makes kind of an interesting um, design using the bubble wrap there. We have our city print. So it's going to be like that. And then put it up on the drying rack and let it dry. I'm going to re-ink the plate and do the white paper. So I might need a little bit more ink. Don't put too much. If it's not making the Velcro sound, you put too much and you might have to scrape it off and put some back. Try to keep this other extra brayer clean because you don't want to have ink on it when you're pressing it on the paper. So I'm going to re-ink this. Again, going in one direction, lifting and rolling down. Turn it, but I'm lifting each time, rolling it as I go left to right. So again, put it upside down. I'm going to grab my paper, line this up between my tape. And this time I'm going to try wetting my paper a little bit first. So I'm going to use a spray bottle. And get my paper a little bit wet. I don't want it overly wet, so I'm going to dab it. So once I've dabbed it, uh, you want to make sure that you're not getting ink on your hands when you're doing this because you will get stains like that. But so now the paper is damp. I'm going to line it up and press it on with my hands and then use my brayer, which is also called a roller. And this time you can roll back and forth because we're not trying to spread the ink. We're just trying to get pressure on the collagraph plate to get the ink to transfer. All right. Don't leave it on too long or it'll get stuck. This is called pulling the print. 
and that's what it looks like when it's done. Um, you'll notice that up here there's some ink um, that is in areas where I really wasn't planning to have it and that's because on the plate when you're inking you want to try not to press too hard so it doesn't get in this area. You just really want the ink on the raised parts and you could put a double layer as long as it's all even to avoid having the brayer fall into the sort of the ditch between the buildings here. So um, this is one of the mistakes that sometimes happens. So you could, you know, build it up and do another plate or you could wait for this to dry and ink it more carefully and pull another print and try to avoid that ink in that area. So there's a collagraph print. So when you're ready to clean up, you can just put your collagraph print with the wet ink on the drying rack and you can use it another day with a different color or the same color. So I'm going to move that out of the picture. And the cardboard that I used to load the ink onto, you can also put that on the drying rack and it can be reused another day or if the teacher says, you can throw it away. Before you go to the sink, wipe off as much of the ink from your tools as you can because you don't want all that ink going into this into the sink um, and it also makes it easier to clean without having all the ink going all over the sink. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go to the sink and run the water. I'm going to put it down in the sink. Don't try to hold it up near the faucet because that's going to make it spray all over your wall. So just have it down here. The ink comes off pretty easily. You could use a sponge or you can use a scrub brush or you can just roll it in the sink. But make sure that you get rid of whatever is left over in the sink so it doesn't dry on the, the sink and have to be scraped off later. So, so hot. Okay, when you're cleaning it, make sure that you get the end over here. Turn it over, get this end, and then the handle. Because if you're switching colors, the last thing you want is to have black getting on the next color that you're printing with. And then make sure that you dry this really well before you try to make another print. So I'm gonna just use the sponge, dry it a little bit, and then use the paper towel after that. So I'm gonna put my paper towel here and just roll it on there. I can tell there's no more ink on it and dry it for the next time that you're gonna use ink. And that's it for cleanup.